Greetings from Violinist.com. This is editor Lori Niles, and today I wanted to talk to you about getting rid of what I call the little neurotic notes, extra notes in your playing. You may not even notice that you're doing them, but I do notice this with um, students. There'll be a passage, and it might have a difficult transition. It might be something like um, getting from one double stop to another, or a shift, something like that. And what happens is there's all these funny little notes in between. And I think what people don't realize is you probably practiced in those notes. So I want to take a example. This example is from Vivaldi Concerto in G minor, the first movement. Um, there's a little spot in there where you have to shift to fifth position. And very often this poses a challenge. May many times a student has not done a lot of position work yet. And so there's a little challenge. So what, what happens is, um, you know, as, as the piece is coming together, um, the student might be playing that passage a little bit like this. So now did you notice there were, there were a lot of extra notes in there? And sometimes people don't know how to get rid of that. I mean, after all, you need to play the note, the note in tune. Um, you need to get from, from its second position in the way I play it. You need to get from second position to fifth position. What are you going to do? What I propose doing is um, instead of playing all those little neurotic notes, those little sliding around and fumbling for the note, um, first practice getting from one note to the other. Um, there's a lot of different ways you can do this. Um, you can simply, uh, and something I recommend right away, and this is just specific to shifting, is finding that note and, and just feel what it, feel um, where it is in your finger, be sure you can hear. Um, look at it, you know, see how far is it from the, from, uh, from the end of the fingerboard, how far is it from the edge of the wood. Um, just uh, close your eyes and figure out how it feels. Um, and then practice the shift. you know, getting up there. And maybe you'll have to fumble a little bit. But get to the point where you can do it t 10 times in a row without fumbling, without anything in between. This, that doesn't count. It has to be straight on it, okay? You can also do the thing where you drop your hand and go straight to it. Um, Practice it until you can do it. Then when you're playing the passage, put a stop sign in there because stop signs are easy to get rid of. The extra notes, if you practice in playing a whole bunch of extra notes, that's what you're gonna play in the end. So you can play the passage. Stop, shift, then Come back to it, full tempo. And as you get better at this, you can um, make that period of time that you stop shorter and shorter and shorter. But the thing to remember is, and to be conscious of, is are you playing a bunch of extra notes? When you get to something difficult, are you making a bunch of extra actions? Are you making um, slides? Are you putting extra notes in there? You need to get rid of that. And it's amazing how fast the passage will come together when you make the effort to get rid of all those notes. It'll take time. Um, and you may have to, you know, you have to basically stop and organize yourself. Um, but once you do that work of organizing your mind and your fingers to do the right thing without anything in between, you'll find that your passage goes much more smoothly. Good luck. Happy practicing. Thank you for reading Violinist.com. And also, I invite you to subscribe to our YouTube channel, which is also called Violinist.com. Thanks. Bye-bye.